Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands on look of the latest game sir VX2 Aim Switch Gaming Keypad. This keypad is actually compatible with the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. But of course, in this video, I'm going to focus on the Nintendo Switch because, you know, my biggest audience is Nintendo Switch gamers. So I've been using this for a couple weeks already. This was sent to me by GameSir. And I've been using it, trying trying to use it because I'm not a PC gamer. So if you are a PC gamer that are switching to consoles, this is the ideal device for you. If you're the other way around, so it's going to take a, a while before you actually get used to it. Because if you're not used to playing with key, keypad, and mouse to play video games, it's going to take a while to actually get used to it. That's my situation right now because I've never game on PC. I've game on PC, but I always use uh, game pads. I don't use keyboard and mouse. So for me, it was a little bit hard to get used to. But if you are a PC trying to play console gaming, because I know some PC gamers actually hate to use game pads on PlayStation or Xbox One or even on the Nintendo Switch, so this is the solution for you guys. So in this video, I just put everything back in the box. Like I said, I've been using it. Put everything back in the box. So that way you can have an idea what to expect when you get this through the mail. So here in the back, of course, you see a description of all the features that this gamepad has to offer. Like, for example, integrated panel made by aluminum, TTC mechanical red switches, um, ultra precise CNC procedures, seven key rollover anti-ghosting with anti-skid texture design, 2.4 wireless ultra low latency technology. It has the mouse and of course the description of the mouse is right there as well. And of course, RGB backlight with 16.8 million colors. There you go. <laughs> A lot of colors there. So let's go ahead and take this out of the box. You guys can see what's in here. And this right here. Okay, I think I put a tape right here. Yeah, I had the tape, which is still good, even though I've been untaping this a lot. Here is the device. Let's go ahead and put this to the side. Take the keyboard out. There you go. And it's going to show you guys what's inside here as well. You got a little message from the game server company, which is cool that they did that. Um, over here, you have the instructions manual, which honestly, you should definitely read because with this manual, it will actually explain you all the controls and all the button designation that depending on the console that you hook up this to, like for example, on the Nintendo Switch, this is the B, this is the A, and this is the X, and this is the Y. So for if you connect it to an Xbox One or PlayStation 4, everything is actually going to change. So you want to actually read this carefully and also tells you how to properly connect it to the devices. So here you have instructions on how to connect it to properly to the Nintendo Switch there. Um, here you got some stickers from GameStar. That's awesome. And here you got the mouse, which is a gaming mouse. The thing about this mouse is that it feels very, really, really light. And also you can control the DPI right here. So it goes all the way up to 12,000 DPI, I believe it is. And of course the sensor here is a gaming sensor. So this is crucial for the device that we're gonna be using. Um, it comes with this adapter, USB-C to USB-A. I still haven't had to use this yet, but it's available there. It comes with the receiver, which is crucial for this device. Uh, this connects to the Nintendo Switch or Xbox One or PlayStation 4. And this, of course, connects via wireless in 2.4 gigahertz to the device itself. And, of course, it comes with this cable, which is USB-A to USB-C that lets you charge this device right here and that's it that's all everything's in the box now let's go ahead and show you guys this keypad which i gotta say right away this looks incredible the build quality of this device it is top notch so when i first saw this i was like holy crap this is like too much for me because i don't play pc games and this is like super super well built this is aluminium feels really cold to the touch so it feels really good um over here you got the the button the power button and you got the charge button 
or the charge port you connect the USB-C port right there and it charges this in the back has rubber so it won't slip no matter what surface you put this on it won't actually slip um, here you got some ratings there in the back or description of this device and on this side this is where you're gonna connect the mouse so um, I believe you should only use it with this mouse but I think you can actually use it with another mouse if you have your own wired mouse I believe you can actually hook it up to there and basically that's it so when you want to turn it on you click right there right it turns on right there and now you see all the awesome beautiful colors RGB turning on there so it has this function key so and if you want to see the colors changing very easily you just tap right there and right there you see like ghost it's basically like like a ghost mode or something like that and you, really cool look at that that looks really nice and also you press it again and tap here and it goes to a specific color there which keep changes color see but it changes really slow go here now it's more like rainbow each row has like its different color tap it again now it's uh, i believe now it stays red here stays green here stays blue here stays white i like the how cool the white looks it looks really damn cool and here you can actually turn it off the keys actually feel really good as well like i said these are ttc mechanical red switches so the quality here of the key is really really damn good here you have a little lcd there that actually tells you the the battery life it tells you the connection status and how you are connected so right here in the middle between these two logos depending how you are connected if it's wired or wireless or if it's on the playstation 4 or something like that you will see the connection status right there um here you got this right here which on the on the nintendo switch it actually works as the d-pad actually it actually works as this d-pad depending what game you're playing so that's pretty cool another thing is that these buttons they also you see that they you can see all the colors on every keypad but um i'm gonna show you guys right now that when you connect it to the console it's going to connect this to the console uh first of all it's going to connect this to the keypad because this is how it's supposed to be hooked up this goes to the keypad and the mouse starts lighting up so like you see here the mouse actually does change its color really nice rgb but i believe this is not when you switch here colors it really doesn't affect the mouse at all the mouse patterns at all so but it's like you see there is actually switching colors and right here like i said you could tap here and change the dpi uh, this is, goes like that and it has these two buttons over here which on the nintendo switch this these two buttons is basically the r1 and l1 r1 or l1 or r and l r and l so this right here is going to be connected to the dock right you're going to connect this to the dock there you go that is connected to the dock and when you connect that to the dock it's going to start flashing over here right now stop flashing because they're already connected right away to the device right here there you go look at that so you can see the logo right there connected already so it is connected so one thing to keep in mind here is that when you're connecting it to the nintendo switch make sure that you go ahead here first to the nintendo switch where it says controllers dun, 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 controllers here and pro controller make sure you put this to pro controller wired communication make sure this is on okay make sure this is on keep in mind when you put this on nfc stops working on the controller i believe uh, but make sure this is actually on because if it's not on it's not gonna work so once you have that connected there right you have this connected to the to the device right there to the dock the solid lights that means that it's a it's a totally good connection there um this also has uh a micro usb connection here in the back which i didn't show you guys but here on the nintendo switch we don't need this connection but like you see there it has a micro usb c connection and this actually connects i believe to the uh, xbox one and playstation 4 controller because uh, it actually connects differently to those console so there you have that but like you see this is all you need 
this is all you need you could of course you can also extend this a little bit longer if you want but you know for me the shorter the better that way it stays close to the console or to the dock and that's it so once you put your console in there it will automatically you know recognize the gameplay and like you're going to see here on the video i'm going to be showing you guys a little bit me using the keyboard while i'm trying to play some video games and when i say that i'm trying is because i'm really bad at playing with keyboards and mouses on video games because i've never like i said i've never ever liked to play video games on pc using keyboard and mice i always use um game pads so that's why i'm pretty bad when it comes to playing with this device on the nintendo switch i would have to keep on using it but the response time keep in mind the response time is really 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 good really precise and depending on the game of course the experience is going to change as well like i see it here i did try with first person shooters like bullet storm and i also did try with the you know latest game that i've been using up playing a lot which is animal crossing and with both of them both games are totally different games and the experience you know it it gets better you know it gets better the experience for me because for me the less intense the video game is the better it is for me because i'm not that good at playing with keyboard and mouse but you know other than that um this is how it looks and it looks really damn good i gotta say it looks really damn good one thing about the mouse that i didn't like compared to this device because this device when you take this device in your hand you can feel the weight of it right you can feel the weight of it because of the build quality and the materials that this is actually using to you know to complete this device and it feels just insane the quality and it looks gorgeous the mouse when you look at it it looks really nice but when you touch it it is very very light very plasticky very light almost so light that it feels cheap but it does have a very good gaming sensor and this of course the dpi right there button is right there that if you need it to be more sensitive you could just keep on tapping and it switches all the way up to 12,000, if I'm not really mistaken, DPI. So keep that in mind. Of course, this extends a lot longer, but you know, when you're sitting this close, I, I don't think you need that much cable for it. And this actually feels really good. And let's see the sound, how it sounds. So the sound of the keys are really good and they do feel really good the travel distance is really good between you know when you press the keys are really really nice and the quality of the keys feel really good um, but like i said i'm i'm bad when it comes to gaming with game with keypad i'm really bad i just have to keep on trying of course there is ways to actually adjust like the sensitivity here i believe there's way to actually adjust the sensitivity here as well um and of course like i said this also works with pc as well if you want to play like a notebook but you don't like the notebook keypads hey man this is perfect because you have mechanical keys that you don't usually find on, on notebooks and you just hook up your mouse to it and that's it so when you think about it, it it actually works for everything and most likely most likely it will definitely work with the xbox the new series coming up and the playstation 5 most likely definitely i believe it actually gonna work of course this is not a cheap device it's 129.99 but it comes with everything that you see here it comes with the receiver it comes with this mouse it comes with these attachments and that's it so of course like you see here on the screen uh we could look at it again right there see there when it's red solid red with the controller that means that it is connected battery life of this is also really cool and that's one thing that i like about the device that this does not need to be connected to the power to actually be working so when you're done gaming the only thing you have to do is just turn it off over here right you just turn it off and you just unplug this and that's it you just unplug that and that's it you put everything away now uh, one thing before i finish the video i forgot to show you guys it's going to put that back again and let's go and turn that again one thing that i forgot to show you guys is that okay there you go it connected fast right let me see yep it's connected one thing that i forgot to show you guys is that here on the light pattern right when you switch right when you switch and you're actually connected to the console it will highlight just the keys that you need to use for the console that you are connected to for example on the nintendo switch all i need is these keys that you see highlighted there and like you see it also changes color 
they're changing color very slowly but that's all you actually need honestly when i actually discovered this that i can actually turn just the keys that i need to play on the nintendo switch it actually became a lot easier for me to actually know which buttons i had to press because like i said this for example is the b a x y uh r this is r and l and this is forward this right here works as the um, left stick this over here works as the directional button um this right here goes to the home button and this over here takes uh, like pictures and videos and so on so on that's all the buttons that you actually need when you're connected to the nintendo switch but if you're a pro you know if you're a pro gamer you already know your buttons configuration you can just turn everything on just like a pro and play like a pro but i know not me i really suck so i have to leave it like that that way i can know which buttons i need to press when i'm playing on the nintendo switch i'm gonna leave links in my description for this device or this bundle which i say is like around 129 they send me this Honestly, I don't remember actually agreeing to make the videos for this because I am bad when it comes to keyboard and mouse gaming, but maybe I did say yes because it was for the Nintendo Switch. You know, my impressions of this device right out of the box is that the quality, build quality, and the mechanics and everything is top notch. It is top notch. So if you're one of those PC gamers that are trying or want to try console gaming but just don't like to use the controllers of those consoles, this is an awesome setup this is an awesome setup that's going to give you all the controls that you've been used to playing on pc but with console gaming so there you have it guys let me know what you think about this game sir device which is the vx aim switch gamepad till next time guys bye bye